Hello everyone. So I hope all of your preparations are going on amazingly well. So what are we going to do in today's video? In today's video, I'm going to give you a bird's eye glance of all the topics covered in every chapter. So ma'am, how does it really help us? Well, how does it help you? It helps you uh, to, um, you know, not miss out any topic while you're preparing for the exam. So while you're preparing for the exam, this will make sure that you do, you do not, sorry, you do not miss out any topics that are there in the uh, particular chapter. So we will obviously start with the Indian Contract Act. And uh, yes, I know there are actually six units in Indian Contract Act, but you know that we have divided the first unit into two parts. So I will just uh, discuss it as per the division that we have done in our classes. So the first one is unit one where first of all we have seen a few definitions then we had seen we had seen the definition of uh, contract uh, offer acceptance agreement promise all this we had covered here and then we had done this topic consensus ad idem then we had done all the different types of contracts and we had taken a bird's eye view of all the essentials of a valid contract. Then we did not continue under the same unit but I divided this part in the second unit. Though if you see the ICI material you will see it given under unit 1 only. So in unit 2 what we had done we had started with offer. Then we had done the different types of offer. Then we had done the rules of offer. Then we had done acceptance. Then we had done rules of a valid acceptance. And finally we had concluded the chapter with communication and revocation right then we had moved on to unit 3 where we had done the definition of consideration then we had done the legal rules of consideration then we had done Locha to privity of contract or suit by a third party where we had almost uh, seven lochas here. Then we had done the locha to no consideration no contract where again we had four different lochas i am so sorry seven different lochas then we had started with unit 4 i mean it is one of the most you know the most most yeah so then we had gone on to the next unit unit 4 where we had first so all the other essentials were discussed here so we had first done um Rather, I would, instead of putting it like this, I would put it like this. Oops. Here, what we had done was, we had um, basically started with uh, capacity to contract in which we had minors agreement and the rules relating to minors agreement. Then we had unsound mind and finally we had persons disqualified by law then next was free consent where we had discussed flaws in consent which was which was first coercion undue influence 
fraud misrepresentation then we had done the consequences of all the four finally mistake which was divided into mistake of fact and mistake of law mistake of fact was also divided into two heads bilateral and unilateral mistake of law was indian law and foreign law then we had done lawful object where we basically had six heads under this and in the last one that is agreement against public policy we had 10 different heads and finally last we had done agreement expressly declared void and under this we had basically covered three topics then moving on to the next one unit 5 which can actually be divided into two parts where the first part is everything relating to performance and the second part is the start of the contract so in unit 5 we had started with uh, who can perform the contract then after this we had done succession the difference between succession and assignment then we had done rights and liabilities of joint promisers then after this we had effect of refusal to perform then time and place of performance then after this we had done reciprocal promises then appropriation of payment there were three methods involved here then time of performance and finally the last one in the small topic that we had done was restitution and apart from this we had covered discharge of the contract where we had six different heads for discharge of contract then after this the next unit was unit 6 where we had done remedies that is we had done the different types of damages right or rather types of damages or the remedies in the form of damages which was ordinary special vindictive or exemplary nominal damages already mentioned in the contract which could be in the form of penalty or liquidated damage then we had discussed other remedies and under this other remedies we had sue for rescission then we had sue for quantum merit then sue for specific performance and last sue for injunction then moving on to the last unit unit 7 it was basically here we had covered contingent contract what is contingent contract what are the characteristics of a contingent contract and uh, what are the legal rules of enforceability of a contingent contract then we had discussed quasi contract and the types of quasi contract 
types of quasi contract we basically had five types of quasi contract make sure that you have covered everything you have not missed out anything from this chapter so this was indian contract act now